Hey, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. In this video, we're going to show you two versions of awesome versions of a caddis. Show you a new product from Lancaster Fly Fishing Show. All in this video. Ain't that awesome? You're going to want to not miss this video. So stay tuned for the fly. Now, just a brief message. If you like this video at any time, give it a thumbs up. You can like, please like it. Share our video to all your friends. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click that little YouTube thing down there. And go check out all other videos when you're done watching this one. And then there will be a chance to just subscribe. Or at the very end of this video, there will be a chance for you to subscribe by just clicking a button. So, that all being said, thank you for coming back. You won't want to miss this video. This is great caddis patterns. Now on to the patterns. Now we're going to start this fly like we do every fly by debarbing the hook. Please, if you, especially if you practice and catch release, debarb your hook so it makes it so much easier to release the fish. Now, we're going to use some of that ice dubbing. We're going to use the stuff we used in the stonefly on the gill. It's an off-white. You don't want a pure white. And we're going to just dig a little, little teeny bunch of that and tie that in. And we're going to tie that. You can either add this or don't add this. And I'll explain to the end of the video the difference that little, it's supposed to represent a shock. So at the end of this video, I'll explain the difference between the two. Now we're going to head cement that all so that it makes a nice and sturdy fly for you. Now we're going to tie in a dart done saddle hackle we're gonna tie that in or just the regular hackle and we're gonna tie that in now you can see here we're gonna use the dark stone ice dubbing and when you put this dubbing on, you want to put it on real loose. Uh, kind of want it to be a little bulky. Because you're going to rib it with that hackle we tied in. So you kind of want a little... I noticed that if you put the dubbing on loose, it gives more of the flash to it. Look to it. If you don't just put a little, little bit of dubbing on, wrap it many times. Just put it on loose. The hackle will help hold it make it more sturdy
if you notice here, I'm going to pull back all that dubbing I just put on and wrap about a quarter of the way back, the shank of the hook. This is so when we add elk hair or the, our wing, it uh, we have enough room there. So pull that back. Then you're going to pull that hackle and ri rib it. Rack it hackle style, but you don't want it really tight wraps. You want it loose like you're ribbing a nymph or something. And then run that up to where you tied the thread off. Cut that off. Now we're gonna trim that hair off the top of the fly, the hackle off the top of the fly, so our wing lays flat on top. Okay, now here in this part, you could use elk hair. You could. And use your standard caddis. And they were great. But, like I said, I'm going to show you these new wings. Check them out. I got these at the Lancaster Show. We'll put a link down below where you can get yours. So, we're going to use these wings. And we're going to tie that wing in. And then trim out the, at the end part. Now, we're going to whip finish this fly, and basically the tying part's over. Now, I know a lot of you people were saying doing that tying of that fly, wow, that hackle was too long. Alright, well I did that on purpose. If you're a new tire or something and you find that your hackle was too long, just trim it off. Great level with the hook. This is not going to make a difference in how many flies you cast a catch. I don't care what they try and tell you. Cutting off hackle doesn't... No. Whatever. Cut it off. It's fine. If you get your hackle too long. Hey, thank you for watching all the way to the end of our video. Now, that shuck I, or that tail I tied in there, I used an off-white. It was the gill from the stone fly. And uh, if you wanted an off-white color, you can use different chenilles or something, but that's a shuck. Now, when you see the flies coming off and hatching and flying away, that's when they're hatching into the adult and from the worm and they fly off. When you see this happening, that's when you want to tie with the ones with that tail in there. That representing the shuck makes it when you put that fly out there and you skate that across the top of the water when they're rising for them, it makes it look like that that adult is stuck in its shuck and can't quite get away when you skate it. And a lot of times these trout will target them because they can't quite get away and they're easier. The ones that just come off, pop off, and fly away, they're harder to get. So they'll target these ones with these shucks hanging behind them where they can't quite get away. And when you don't want to have that on there is when you see the flies coming back to the water. They'll come back to the water, they'll hit the water and lay their eggs, and they'll bump the top of the water and then they'll you know, kind of die there or they'll fly off and die. When they're returning back to the water, that's when you don't want to have that shuck on there. So that's two patterns, two different times. And you'll notice this when they come off and fly away or when they return. You, it's usually pretty easy to tell. You won't see any in the, around and all of a sudden they'll start appearing. They're usually coming off. And when you see them all over in the trees when you're walking in and stuff, that's when they're going to be returning back to the water. And that's why we tie these two different versions. And I tied these in black 
and olive, which are the two common color flies I run into is the olive and the black, or the grandum caddis. So that's why I tie them with that shuck and without the shuck. And the wings. Um, you can use elk hair. I do a typical wing. But these wings that I got from Up and Up, I got them at the Lancaster. I bought two bags of these. Now, I'm going to use them also in a March Brown pattern because they're just so awesome to use. They're so easy to use to tie in these wings. I recommend you get the link down below and get yourself some of them. The, the color of them is so cl close to the actual color of a mayfly wing. It's incredible. And they're really going to, I think these are really going to hit this work this year for us. So, you can get your own link below or use OutCare. I recommend you try these wings. And if you haven't seen it yet, the Lancaster Show, you can click up in here and check it out. If you haven't checked it out, a guy ties a little blue winged olive in our video with these. That's the guy that was selling them and that's pretty neat. He used uh, that flash, olive flash dubbing as a tail just to make it stick out from all the flies when you have Sometimes when you have pressured water, you need to do, add a little flare to your fly because they've seen millions of caddises. So you get these wings, make your caddis look different. Um, I hope you liked our video. Uh, if you wait to the very end of this video, you can click the links right here. And like I said, if you're watching this on a group in Facebook or any of that, make sure you click down here and go to the YouTube tab and uh, check out our other videos and once you go onto our YouTube channel, you'll be able to subscribe there. Or you can just wait till the end of this video and just click the button to subscribe. And the reason I, I tell you to do this is because we'll soon be going back to work and we'll be posting every day. And if you're watching this on Facebook or on groups, I can't post these videos every day. They banned me. They put me in jail and kicked me off for a week. So make sure you subscribe because I might get kicked off you and you'll miss videos. And I got a lot of dries coming yet. Some nymphs coming yet. Um, some really cool stuff you ain't going to want to miss. So make sure you subscribe. And it, uh, and if you subscribe, it gets us more more subscribers have. When we go to companies and get, try and get you discount codes, they're like, okay, you got a lot of subscribers. We'll do that for you. If I don't have many, they're like, uh, and most of that break off points a 1,000. So you help us reach a 1,000 subscribers so we can start giving you discount codes and free giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff so that's why you should subscribe because it only is gonna help you so thank you very much if you have already we love you and if you haven't make sure you do hey welcome to the end of our video where you can always watch our fly tying videos here our fishing videos here a video just for you right there and right there's where you click to subscribe and don't forget to do this keep your lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip.